the army, once again seizing power in Thailand, plunging the country into uncertainty after months of deadly political strife. The coup was announced in a televised address, Army Chief General Prayut Chancho telling the nation that the armed forces had to act to restore stability in the deeply divided Southeast Asian nation. To reform the social structure economically, socially and in other ways to create equality for everybody and for every side. The peace maintaining committee which consisted of the armed forces, army, navy and air force as well as national police has to take control of power to administer the country from 22nd May 2014. The army arrested the leader of anti-government protest Sutev Toksubin just before announcing the coup. It had imposed martial law in the country on Tuesday but denied coup. But the surprise move came after rival factions failed to reach a compromise to end nearly seven months of political deadlock and turmoil. All radio and television stations have been told to run content given only by the army. There have been reports of soldiers firing in the air to disperse pro-government protesters on Bangkok's outskirts, but the army has assured safety of international community members present in the country. For the ambassadors, consulate and international organizations, including foreigners living in the Kingdom of Thailand, the Peace Maintaining Committee will protect you. And I insist that the international relations with other countries and organizations remain as usual. There have already been 11 coups and 7 attempted coups since the end of absolute monarchy in 1932, giving Thailand the dubious distinction of being one of the world's most coup-prone countries. The crisis is the latest installment in a long battle between supporters of ousted former Prime Minister Thaksin Shirawatra and opponents backed by the Royalist establishment. Thaksin's sister, Yingluk Shirawatra, was forced to step down as Premier by a court two weeks ago. A caretaker Prime Minister was appointed in her place despite the declaration of martial law. Newsnight Desk, DD News.